The 2014-2018 Kimco like 200i. Retro designs that hail back to the 60s and 70s are all the rage right now, and the Kuangyang Motor Company out of Taiwan is trying to capitalize on that phenomenon with the like 200i. Kimco brings retro design and contemporary performance together on this ride with a 163cc power plant and disc brakes under a body that rocks an appealing, dated look. Continue reading for my review of the Kimco like 200i. Kimco like 200i design. The like has a very clean and minimal look, even with the top box hanging off the back, and an undeniable retro appeal. Early on, the factory produced parts for Honda, and since splitting off to produce its own machines, has scored a gig building engines for none other than BMW, engines that power one of Beamer's enduro bikes as well as its hybrid drive i3 model. That's some pretty august company, and it just goes to illustrate a certain capability on KYMCO's part, so this isn't a company to dismiss as another cheap Chinese scooter company. My first thought when I took in the appearance of the like 200i was retro-futuristic. Kind of reminds me of a 60s or 70s interpretation of what scooters in the future might look like, or maybe something out of a classic comic book. A relatively narrow legard area, pointed entry and cyclops headlight leads the way for a clean head-on look, and the molded in marker lights and minimal turn signals keep it that way. The full step-through makes the like easy to mount and dismount, plus you have a nice tween feet storage spot. In fact, the like is all about the storage options with the usual under-seat storage compartment and helmet hook to go with the top box that not only provides extra dry storage area, but serves as a passenger backrest, that's form plus function, which is always a good thing. Much of the aforementioned futuristic flavor comes from the style of the side covers with their grilled intake ports. That's not much to define a look, I know, yet here we are with a definite flavor that's centered around the side on visuals with just a little help from the shape of the front end. The color palette is okay enough with red, blue matte black and white on tap, and while the red isn't bad, I'm really not feeling the blue, it's just a little too cartoony for my taste, know what I mean? Overall we have a very clean and minimal look, even with the top box hanging off the back, and an undeniable retro appeal. Kimco like 200i chassis. We have no abs or combined brake features, just honest control and feedback at the hand levers. No monocoque assembly here, just a good, old-fashioned underframe and body panels for the standing structure. Given the targeted era, I think a set of laced wheels would be appropriate, but I'll forgive them the 12-inch cast wheels since the factory also abandoned the rear drum brake in favor of all-around disc brakes. We have no abs or combined brake features, just honest control and feedback at the hand levers. Seat height is average at 30.5 inches tall, and the tapered shape at the front of the saddle makes for easy ground access when it's time for the footwork. Overall length measures right under 76 inches long with a 51.9 inch wheelbase, numbers that put it in the midsize bracket, and a 245 pound dry weight that keeps the thing manageable at low speeds. Naturally, that light weight does nothing to improve tracking, and gusty sidewinds or pressure waves from passing traffic will be keenly felt. As always with proper scooters, a swing mount drive system articulates the rear wheel with a pair of coil over shocks on suspension duty, and telescopic forks buoy the front end to complete the assembly. Kimco like 200i drivetrain. Simple, effective and capable of producing up to 83 mpg. One thing I hear over and over from Kimco owners is how reliable their engines are, and no doubt that's why the company gets business from heavyweights Beamer and Honda. The four-stroke thumper uses forced air cooling to carry away waste heat for a simple and cheap alternative to liquid cooling. A SOHC times the valve train with electronic fuel injection to manage the mixture. Simple, effective and capable of producing up to 83 mpg. This mill is nearly square with a 60mm bore and 57.8mm stroke for a total displacement of 163cc, and it manages to squeak out 11.3 horsepower at 7,250 revolutions per minute and 2.8 pound-feet of torque at 5,500 revolutions per minute. Really about as basic as it gets folks without throwing a carburetor on there instead of the throttle body, with nothing in the way of electronic fandanglery to unnecessarily complicate things. 
Kimco like 200i price. MSRP isn't bad for the 150 to 200 cc market when you could easily spend at least half again more for a scooter with a similarly sized engine. One of the things about not being one of the hoity-toity big guys is that you don't get to charge for name recognition and those savings get passed directly to the customer. Kimco lets go of the like 200i for $2,499 MSRP. That's not bad for the 150 to 200 cc market when you could easily spend at least half again more for a scooter with a similarly sized engine. Kimco like 200i competitor. Each has a charm all its own, a certain QWAN if you will, so you'll have to make your own judgment there. As tempting as it was to pick one of the big name Italian models for my head to head, I decided to let another Chinese company have the spotlight for a minute, and I picked the Verona 150 from SSR. You'll notice right off the bat that both sport that whole retro vibe, but the Verona- If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.